Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Warcraft The Burning Crusade Classic. Robert Rambles here and thank you so much for joining me today. Victory lies ahead. We are starting off in Falcon Wing Square, but we are about to head out into the Greater Eversong Woods. Let's check our bags. Everything is good here. I did level up our cooking a little bit. You can buy simple flour and mild spices from the trade vendor in the inn and you can make spice bread. Which is really basic, but uh, you can buy the ingredients, so that's a good way to start leveling it up. And we also learned the lynx steak recipe, so any lynx we kill going forward, we are going to save their meat. Uh, let's sell one... Of the, let's sell the 10 stack and keep the 20 stack. Uh, here, let's sell the honey bread. And we're going to keep the flint and tinder, we need that, and the simple wood we need for our cooking fire. Keep your wits about you. Let's get our demon skin buff going, and with that we are good to head out. We need to head to the North Sanctum, and then we need to find the Darnassian Intruders. And the North Sanctum is right outside the gates of Falconwing Square here. Glory to the Sindori. We'll drop off our letter, and then Laykeeper Kidanis here wants us to speak to Laykeeper Veliana at the West Sanctum in Eversong Woods. We will have justice. Because she needs some help over there. And I think that's the same area that we're going to to find the Night Elf Intruders. So let's head over to the little island here to the west. Ooh, there is a quest on the road. I think these are the two apprentices that have gotten themselves into a bit of trouble. Let's go have a look. I do plan to make this character an herbalist and an alchemist, so I will be going to Silvermoon pretty soon to pick up those two skills so we can get that going. Yes. Alright, Apprentice Raylan here wants us to find his buddy, Apprentice Melador. We will have they were traveling down the road here and they seem to have lost a few books and belongings of their master, so let's see if we can find his friend down here by the bridge. And Melador here wants us to search the water for a book that he let go into the river. So let's dive down and take a look. And it is right here, basically straight out ahead of him. Right under the bridge. Anu Bellore della Na. We will have justice. And he wants us to take these items over to his master because he does not want to do it himself. And that is going to be all the way over here. So when we do go over to Silver Pine, we will turn this in. And that NPC will have a follow-up quest for us to come back, teach his students a certain lesson. But with that done, we can continue to the west and over to the island.
glory to the Sindori. And there has been a severe malfunction here at the West Sanctum. Latekeeper Velania wants us to kill five of the mana wraiths and five of the mana stalkers that have spawned here as part of the disturbance at the ley line. Hold your head high. Stay the course. So we can do that, and then somewhere on these hills we will find night elves lurking in stealth. Let's take care of the mana wraiths and stalkers first. Then we will hunt down some night elf scum. Our imp does seem to have a little bit of a longer range than our spells have. That's interesting. He can st start shooting way before we can with his little flame balls. And then we have to get a little bit closer than he does in order to start casting our spells. Oh no, it is the same distance. I don't know, sometimes it seemed like he stopped way behind our effective range. Maybe I was imagining things. No, this is a 30 yard range. We have also, okay, so it's exactly the same. Sometimes I felt like I had to run a little bit forward of him. Alright, let's drink a little bit of our water and get some mana back. We'll save the milk, we'll try to use the refreshing spring water a little bit. It's not going to restore a ton of mana, but it's better than nothing and we might as well use at least some of it. And there is a Darnassian scout. He is the night elf we are looking for. And there are a few of them scattered about the hill here. He's not the only one. So if you were on the other side over there, you'd probably run into one there as well. He has incriminating documents. Because why wouldn't you have your scouts carry incriminating documents into enemy territory? Seems like a good military idea. The document contains detailed maps of the different strategic buildings in the Eversong Woods. A diagram of an arcane sanctum is also sketched in good detail. There seem to be numerous notes in a language you don't recognize. And we're going to take this over here, I think. Oh no, one of them is going back to town. And then the Darnassian Intrusions turns in over here to Laykeeper Velenia. 
Baladash Malinore. Remember the sun well. And I, I think we can hearth here. Yeah, we might as well go ahead and hearth. We haven't utilized our hearthstone at all. That'll get us back to Falcon Wing Square. We can turn in our quest there. Then we can go out and find the master of the two apprentices. Let's see if, let's see if that works out. The dark times will pass. All right, he wants us to go find Prospector Anvil Ward, who's hanging out at the North Sanctum, and kill him. The Apparently, the documents hand. we found incriminated him. We thought he was here as someone from the Alliance, an envoy to talk about possibly the Blood Elves joining the Alliance, but as it turns out, he was simply a spy. And now we are off to put an end to him. See if he has any unique voice lines. You got my attention. Hi. You got my attention. Usually they'll get annoyed if you keep clicking on them. That's not funny. It's not funny. Watch it. You're not amusing. Think that's funny, do you? Hi. How are ya? What's on your mind? All right, that's it. Off with you. Come with us. There is something that we'd like you to see up here. No, we're not going to stab you in the back. We just want to show you something all the way up this ramp. Follow us. The dagger? Oh, don't mind the dagger. Why don't you walk ahead of us, actually? Great to meet you. And then we just casually stroll out. We don't even bother telling Laykeeper Kadanis what went down. He has no idea, and he never will know. Well, that paladin was kind enough to give us Blessing of Might. I don't know that that's useful. We do stab occasionally with our dagger, that's true. We are doing a little bit of stabbing still. The eternal sun guides us. And now we get our breadcrumb to head out to Fairbreeze Village, which can be reached by following the road out of Falconwing Square all the way to the south. There's a wretched attack on a nearby shipyard, and they've requested reinforcements. About you. And yeah, we are the reinforcements. Let's head over here and sell everything we don't need. Glory to the Sindora. Stay the course. 
but we're not gonna head right out to Fairbreeze Village. There's a couple of things we need to do back here first. And I think if we head directly to the east, into the Dead Scar, there's gonna be a ranger with a quest for us to do a kill quest. To fight some undead here. If I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, there we go. Ranger Jayella. Ranger Jayella has a problem in the form of a never-ending waves of Scourge, so we are going to help her out a little bit by killing eight Plaguebone Pillagers. And she'll even give us a new pair of pants. Yeah, we don't want to be in the way of that. I am going to try to get us out of there. Let's turn our pet on passive and run for the hills. Okay. <laughs> don't stand in the middle of the dead scar. Thankfully, even though our pet might die, I think we're going to get away. Yeah, if we get a little farther, they should drop aggro. Well, they seem quite angry. chased us almost all the way back to Falcon Wing Square. Very impressive. Let's try to avoid them in the future, shall we? I'm going to stay to the side over here and see what work we can get done that way. They should run right into the NPCs, so maybe we won't have to worry about them again for a bit. Forgot to tell our imp to attack there, and since he was on passive, he was fine just to watch us get slapped in the face. Kind of hoping we get a decent wand within a couple levels here. As fun as it is to stab things with a dagger, well, we're not a rogue, so we're never going to be very good at it. Probably could have used a little bit of mana there. We could mana tap. Didn't even get us enough mana for a shadow bolt, so not sure if worth it. Let's eat and drink, and then we will go turn this in. Victory lies ahead. Victory lies ahead. Anu Bellore Delana. 
The eternal sun guides us. The reckoning is at hand. All right, that's all the work that she needed us to do. Let's head all the way over here. And we'll talk to the Master Mage about his wayward apprentices. Anaria Shulav. Oh, he's over here. For some reason I thought he was farther east of the Silvermoon entrance, but nope. Just right outside. State your business. Now we need to use the disciplinary rod on those two students. And for that we'll get a four slot bag. Remember the sun well. We will do that when we are back over on that side. We actually probably have to do it before we head down to Fairbury's village. But what I'm gonna do now, since we're right here, is we're gonna go and we are gonna pick up herbalism and alchemy. So that we can stop ignoring all of these herbs that we are coming across. We'll talk to a guard inside. Sometimes when you talk to the guards outside, it actually removes the pointer on the map by the time you get into the city. So it's best just to talk to these guys Our right here. Oh, of course, we're gonna go all the way back. All the way into the back. And in the meantime, we can enjoy the sights of Silver Moon City. One of my favorite cities in the game, actually. On the Horde side, it's definitely my favorite city in the game. I feel like it's the only Horde city that convinces me that it's like a livable area where actual characters could go about their daily lives and all that stuff. I, I like the scale of the buildings, the scale of the interiors. I think it's all great. And even though no functional doors in World of Warcraft have uh, actual doors on them, at least in the Silver Moon and the other Blood Elf areas, they give you these little fake veils, so it almost seems like they can close their front doors, even though they can't. It just kind of gives you the illusion of some kind of privacy, as opposed to an Orgrimmar where every door is just an arcway that you walk through and there's no door of any kind. Same thing in every other city. It's one of those weird little details that has bothered me for 15 years, the lack of opening and closing doors. Our enemies will fall. Shorelaran. Do not loiter. And let's buy a couple supplies while we're here. That should be okay. Let's go ahead and empty our bags out a little bit. So we can't do very much, but we can get rid of a couple of things, and we should. We will have justice.
I'm gonna edit out some of the travel for you guys, but I am gonna head down to the apprentices. We will slap them with the rod and then we will head back and turn that one in. And I think that'll be the last thing that we really have to do before we head down to Fairbreeze Village. So I will see you there. All right, let's use the rod on them. Turns them into a boar. That's a decent way to punish your wayward students. Let's head down to the bridge and we'll do the same thing there. And then, uh, unfortunately, we have to run all the way back. It's hard to work both parts of this quest into doing anything else. Because it's kind of like you're going to have to go out of your way at some point, no matter what order you do it in. So yeah, now we, we head back uh, over here, we turn it in, and then we have to head down into Fairbreeze Village. Which is kind of out of the way. I'm trying to remember what was over here, or if that's stuff that we get into later. And I, I might take a run over here and open up the map and just see what's going on over the, in that area, because I, I can't really remember if we can go over there now. I think we get sent over this way from Fairbreeze Village, but I'm not 100%. So I think we'll take a couple minutes to go explore it once we turn this quest in. And after that, if there's nothing to do over there at our level, then we'll head down to Fairbreeze. Uh, which is definitely our next major hub. Would definitely be a good idea to be tracking herbs. to the Sindori. Chorelloran. A free four slot bag. I'm actually surprised that we haven't had any random bags drop at all off of any enemies. Usually I'm pretty lucky with bags. I'm not lucky with like any other kinds of drops, like actual gear to equip. But I usually am pretty lucky with getting a, a bag to drop off an enemy early on. And it really helps out. Alright, we're just going to go explore over here. One of these buildings is the building you get your mount at, I'm pretty sure. It's probably this one right here. Yeah, there we go. There's all the hawk striders. Let's get the map unlock. Thurin's Livery. Okay, there we go. Let's go grab the silver leaf up here. Ooh, there's two right here. That's actually pretty cool. We might have to give our imp a hand, though. Let's do that first. Get a couple of dots rolling. Couple of failed attempts there. 